The Mindful Way Through Depression is a book written by Mark Williams, John Teasdale, Zindel Siegel, and John Cabot Zinn. It offers a new approach to treating depression using mindfulness techniques. Here are some important points from the book. Depression is a normal human experience. It's a natural response to difficult life events such as loss, disappointment, or failure. However, if depression becomes chronic, it can lead to a cycle of negative thinking, avoidance behaviors, and isolation. Mindfulness is a practice that involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. By learning to be mindful, individuals can become more aware of their negative thoughts and feelings, and learn to respond to them in a more constructive way. The book introduces the concept of the depression trap. This refers to the cycle of negative thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that keep people stuck in depression. By becoming aware of this cycle and learning to interrupt it with mindfulness, individuals can break free from the trap and begin to experience more positive emotions. The book offers several mindfulness practices, including meditation, breathing exercises, and body scans. These practices are designed to help individuals become more aware of their thoughts and feelings, and learn to observe them without judgment. The authors emphasize the importance of self-compassion in overcoming depression. Instead of beating oneself up for having negative thoughts or feelings, individuals should learn to treat themselves with kindness and understanding. The book also emphasizes the importance of social support in overcoming depression. By connecting with others who are also struggling, individuals can feel less isolated and alone in their struggles. The book introduces the concept of automatic thoughts. These are thoughts that come to our minds automatically, often without us even realizing it. In depression, automatic thoughts tend to be negative and self-critical, which can contribute to the cycle of negative emotions. By becoming more aware of these automatic thoughts and learning to question their validity, individuals can break free from the cycle of negativity. The authors emphasize the importance of practicing mindfulness in everyday life, not just during meditation. By bringing a mindful awareness to daily activities such as eating, walking, or talking to others, individuals can cultivate a more positive and present-focused mindset. The book includes a four-week program for overcoming depression using mindfulness techniques. The program includes daily mindfulness practices, cognitive behavioral therapy exercises, and group support. The program is designed to help individuals break free from the cycle of depression and develop a more positive outlook on life. The authors stress that mindfulness is not a quick fix for depression, but rather a long-term practice that requires commitment and effort. However, by learning to be more mindful and present-focused, individuals can develop the skills and resilience needed to overcome depression and live a more fulfilling life. The book highlights the role of rumination in depression. Rumination is the tendency to dwell on negative thoughts and feelings, replaying them over and over in one's mind. This can lead to a downward spiral of negative emotions and thoughts. By becoming more aware of rumination and learning to interrupt it with mindfulness, individuals can break free from this cycle and experience more positive emotions. The authors emphasize the importance of accepting negative emotions, rather than trying to suppress or avoid them. By learning to accept negative emotions and be present with them, individuals can reduce their intensity and eventually let go of them. The book introduces the concept of beginner's mind. This refers to the mindset of approaching experiences with curiosity and openness, as if experiencing them for the first time. By cultivating a beginner's mind, individuals can break free from their preconceptions and experience life with greater freshness and vitality. The authors stress the importance of self-care in overcoming depression. This includes taking care of one's physical health through exercise, nutrition, and sleep, as well as engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment. The book emphasizes the importance of continuing to practice mindfulness and self-compassion even after overcoming depression. These practices can help individuals maintain a positive mindset and prevent relapse. The book highlights the importance of mindfulness in cultivating resilience. By learning to be present focused and non-judgmental, individuals can develop the skills and mindset needed to handle difficult emotions and life events with greater ease and adaptability.
The authors emphasize the importance of setting realistic expectations for oneself. By focusing on progress rather than perfection, individuals can reduce the pressure and self-criticism that can contribute to depression. The book introduces the concept of values-based living. This refers to living a life that is aligned with one's core values and beliefs. By identifying and pursuing one's values, individuals can cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment, which can contribute to overall well-being. The authors stress the importance of seeking professional help when needed. While mindfulness and self-compassion can be powerful tools for overcoming depression, they may not be sufficient for everyone. Individuals should seek out professional help if their depression is severe or persistent. The book highlights the importance of gratitude in cultivating a positive mindset. By focusing on the positive aspects of one's life and expressing gratitude for them, individuals can cultivate a sense of appreciation and contentment. The book emphasizes the importance of self-compassion in overcoming depression. Self-compassion involves treating oneself with the same kindness, care, and understanding that one would offer to a friend. By practicing self-compassion, Individuals can reduce self-criticism and develop a more positive and accepting relationship with themselves. The authors stress the importance of social support in overcoming depression. By connecting with supportive friends and family members, individuals can receive emotional support and encouragement. Group support, such as a mindfulness-based therapy group, can also be beneficial. The book highlights the importance of self-awareness in overcoming depression. By becoming more aware of one's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, individuals can identify negative patterns and make changes to break free from them. The authors emphasize the importance of regular mindfulness practice for optimal results. Consistent practice can help individuals cultivate a more present focused and positive mindset, which can contribute to overall well-being. The book introduces the concept of decentering. This involves stepping back from one's thoughts and emotions and seeing them as separate from oneself. By practicing decentering, individuals can reduce their identification with negative thoughts and emotions, which can contribute to a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors stress the importance of self reflection in overcoming depression. By reflecting on one's experiences and emotions, individuals can gain insight into their patterns of thinking and behavior and make positive changes. The book highlights the role of cognitive distortions in depression. Cognitive distortions are negative thought patterns that can contribute to depression. By becoming aware of these distortions and challenging them with mindfulness and cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, individuals can break free from negative thought patterns. The authors stress the importance of self-acceptance in overcoming depression. By accepting oneself for who they are, including their flaws and imperfections, Individuals can reduce self-criticism and develop a more positive relationship with themselves. The book introduces the concept of loving-kindness meditation. This involves directing positive thoughts and emotions towards oneself and others. By practicing loving-kindness meditation, individuals can cultivate a sense of compassion and connectedness, which can contribute to overall well-being. The authors emphasize the importance of setting realistic and achievable goals for oneself. By setting small, achievable goals, individuals can build a sense of accomplishment and self-efficacy, which can contribute to overall well-being. The authors stress the importance of self-care in overcoming depression. Self-care involves taking care of one's physical, emotional, and mental health through activities such as exercise, healthy eating, rest, relaxation, and hobbies. By prioritizing self-care, Individuals can improve their overall well-being and reduce symptoms of depression. The book highlights the role of rumination in depression. Rumination involves dwelling on negative thoughts and feelings, which can contribute to depression. By learning to identify and interrupt rumination with mindfulness and cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, individuals can break free from negative thought patterns. The authors stress the importance of practicing self-compassion and forgiveness towards oneself. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, and letting go of self-blame and guilt, individuals can reduce negative self-talk and develop a more positive and accepting relationship with themselves. The book introduces the concept of diffusion. 
This involves stepping back from one's thoughts and seeing them as separate from oneself. By practicing diffusion, individuals can reduce their identification with negative thoughts and emotions, which can contribute to a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors stress the importance of regular exercise in reducing symptoms of depression. Exercise has been shown to improve mood, reduce stress, and promote overall well-being. The authors highlight the importance of focusing on the present moment instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. By practicing mindfulness, individuals can learn to be more present-focused and reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. The book emphasizes the importance of sleep hygiene in overcoming depression. Sleep is essential for physical and mental health, and poor sleep can contribute to symptoms of depression. By practicing good sleep hygiene, individuals can improve their overall well-being and reduce symptoms of depression. The authors stress the importance of taking small steps towards positive change. By making small changes in one's behavior and mindset, individuals can gradually build resilience and improve their overall well-being. The book introduces the concept of thought diffusion. This involves learning to observe one's thoughts without becoming attached to them. By practicing thought diffusion, individuals can reduce their identification with negative thoughts and emotions, which can contribute to a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors highlight the importance of self-reflection and self-awareness in building resilience. By becoming more aware of one's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, individuals can identify negative patterns and make positive changes. The authors stress the importance of self-compassion and kindness towards oneself. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, individuals can reduce negative self-talk and develop a more positive and accepting relationship with themselves. The book highlights the role of social support in overcoming depression. Social support can come from family, friends, or support groups, and can provide emotional and practical support during difficult times. The authors emphasize the importance of setting boundaries and practicing assertiveness in relationships. By setting clear boundaries and communicating one's needs and wants assertively, individuals can improve their relationships and reduce stress and anxiety. The book introduces the concept of radical acceptance. This involves accepting reality as it is, rather than fighting against it or wishing it were different. By practicing radical acceptance, individuals can reduce their suffering and find peace in difficult situations. The authors stress the importance of practicing self-compassion during difficult times. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, individuals can reduce stress and anxiety and improve their overall well-being. The authors stress the importance of cultivating gratitude as a way to improve one's mood and overall well-being. By focusing on the positive aspects of one's life, individuals can shift their perspective and reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. The book emphasizes the importance of self-acceptance and letting go of perfectionism. By accepting oneself as one is and letting go of the need for perfection, individuals can reduce stress and anxiety and improve their overall well-being. The authors highlight the importance of positive self-talk in building resilience. By replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, individuals can improve their self-esteem and reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. The book introduces the concept of mindful communication. This involves communicating with others in a way that is clear, respectful, and compassionate. By practicing mindful communication, individuals can improve their relationships and reduce stress and conflict. The authors stress the importance of regular mindfulness practice in building resilience. By practicing mindfulness regularly, individuals can reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions improve their overall well-being, and cultivate a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors stress the importance of physical activity in improving one's mood and overall well-being. Exercise has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, and can provide a sense of accomplishment and improved self-esteem. The book highlights the importance of finding meaning and purpose in one's life as a way to improve overall well-being. By identifying values and goals that are meaningful, individuals can find purpose and direction in their lives, and reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. 
The authors emphasize the importance of forgiveness in building resilience. By letting go of anger and resentment towards oneself or others, individuals can reduce stress and improve their relationships. The book introduces the concept of mindful eating. This involves eating in a way that is mindful and present focused and can help individuals develop a more positive and balanced relationship with food and their bodies. The authors stress the importance of self-care and relaxation in reducing stress and improving overall well-being. By practicing self-care activities such as taking a bath, getting a massage, or practicing yoga, individuals can reduce stress and improve their mood. The book stresses the importance of living in the present moment as a way to reduce stress and anxiety. By focusing on the present moment, individuals can reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions, and develop a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors highlight the importance of self-reflection and self-exploration in building resilience. By exploring one's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, individuals can gain insight into their patterns and develop new strategies for coping with stress and adversity. The book introduces the concept of mindful self-compassion. This involves treating oneself with kindness and understanding, even during difficult times. By practicing mindful self-compassion, individuals can reduce self-criticism and improve their self-esteem and overall well-being. The authors stress the importance of regular sleep and sleep hygiene in improving mood and overall well-being. Sleep deprivation has been linked to symptoms of depression and anxiety and practicing good sleep hygiene can improve the quality and quantity of sleep. The book emphasizes the importance of developing a support network of friends, family, and professionals. By building a support network, individuals can reduce isolation and improve their ability to cope with stress and adversity. The authors stress the importance of setting realistic and achievable goals as a way to improve overall well-being. By setting goals that are meaningful and attainable, Individuals can develop a sense of purpose and accomplishment, and reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. The book introduces the concept of mindful breathing. This involves paying attention to one's breath as a way to reduce stress and anxiety and increase present moment awareness. The authors highlight the importance of self compassion in building resilience. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, Individuals can reduce self criticism and improve their self esteem and overall well being. The book emphasizes the importance of seeking professional help when needed. Depression is a serious condition that may require professional treatment, and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. The authors stress the importance of cultivating positive relationships as a way to improve overall well being. By building positive and supportive relationships, Individuals can reduce isolation and improve their ability to cope with stress and adversity. The book highlights the importance of practicing gratitude as a way to cultivate positive emotions and improve overall well-being. By focusing on the good in one's life and expressing gratitude for it, individuals can reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. The authors stress the importance of practicing mindfulness in daily life as a way to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. By being present focused and non-judgmental, individuals can reduce the impact of negative thoughts and emotions, and develop a more positive and balanced mindset. The book introduces the concept of mindful communication. This involves being present and attentive during communication with others, and can improve the quality of relationships and reduce conflicts. The authors highlight the importance of self-acceptance in building resilience. By accepting oneself as it is, flaws and all, individuals can reduce self-criticism and improve their self-esteem and overall well-being. The book emphasizes the importance of practicing self-compassion during difficult times. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, individuals can reduce stress and improve their ability to cope with stress and adversity. The authors stress the importance of engaging in enjoyable activities as a way to improve overall well-being. By doing things that one enjoys and finds fulfilling, individuals can experience positive emotions and improve their mood. The book introduces the concept of self-inquiry. This involves asking oneself questions to gain insight into one's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and can lead to greater self-awareness and personal growth. 
The authors highlight the importance of practicing self-care as a way to improve overall well-being. This includes activities such as getting regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, and taking time for oneself to relax and recharge. The book emphasizes the importance of developing a daily mindfulness practice as a way to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. By dedicating time each day to practice mindfulness, individuals can cultivate greater awareness and develop a more positive and balanced mindset. The authors stress the importance of developing a sense of purpose as a way to improve overall well-being. By engaging in activities that are meaningful and align with one's values and beliefs, individuals can experience a greater sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. The book introduces the concept of self-compassionate letter writing. This involves writing a letter to oneself as if they were writing to a close friend who is experiencing a similar challenge. This exercise can help individuals cultivate self-compassion and improve their self-esteem. The authors stress the importance of practicing forgiveness as a way to improve overall well-being. By letting go of grudges and resentments, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their relationships with others. The book emphasizes the importance of setting healthy boundaries as a way to improve overall well-being. By being clear about one's needs and limits, individuals can reduce stress and improve their relationships with others. The authors highlight the importance of engaging in acts of kindness as a way to improve overall well-being. By doing something kind for others, individuals can experience positive emotions and improve their mood. The book emphasizes the importance of being present focused and non-judgmental during daily activities as a way to improve overall well-being. By practicing mindfulness during routine tasks, individuals can reduce stress and improve their ability to stay present focused. The authors highlight the importance of cultivating positive relationships as a way to improve overall well-being. By developing strong connections with others and having a support system, individuals can reduce stress and improve their mental health. The book introduces the concept of mindful eating. This involves being present and attentive while eating and can help individuals improve their relationship with food and reduce unhealthy eating habits. The authors stress the importance of practicing self-reflection as a way to gain insight into one's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. By regularly reflecting on one's experiences and feelings, individuals can develop greater self-awareness and personal growth. The book emphasizes the importance of finding balance in one's life as a way to improve overall well-being. By prioritizing self-care, relationships, work, and leisure time, individuals can reduce stress and improve their overall quality of life. The authors highlight the importance of practicing self-compassion during times of failure or setbacks. By treating oneself with kindness and understanding, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their ability to cope with challenges. Overall, the mindful way through depression offers a comprehensive and practical approach to overcoming depression and building resilience. The book emphasizes the importance of self-awareness, self-care, social support, and regular practice for optimal results. By breaking free from negative thought patterns and cultivating a more positive mindset, individuals can experience more positive emotions and well-being. More the authors stress the importance of identifying and challenging negative thought patterns such as self-criticism and self-blame. By recognizing and reframing these thoughts, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their self-esteem. The book introduces the concept of thought diffusion. This involves recognizing thoughts as temporary mental events rather than absolute truths, and can help individuals reduce their attachment to negative thoughts. The authors highlight the importance of finding meaning in difficult experiences as a way to promote personal growth and resilience. By reframing challenging experiences as opportunities for learning and growth, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their sense of purpose. The book emphasizes the importance of developing a sense of gratitude as a way to improve overall well-being. By regularly practicing gratitude, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their mood. The authors stress the importance of engaging in regular physical activity as a way to improve overall well-being. Exercise has been shown to reduce stress and improve mood, 
and can be an effective complement to mindfulness practice. The book highlights the importance of sleep hygiene as a way to promote better mental health. By prioritizing healthy sleep habits, such as consistent bedtimes and minimizing screen time before bed, individuals can improve their mood and reduce stress. The authors stress the importance of setting realistic goals and expectations as a way to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. By breaking larger goals into smaller, achievable steps, individuals can reduce feelings of overwhelm and improve their sense of control. The book emphasizes the importance of embracing imperfection and accepting oneself as a way to improve self-esteem and reduce negative emotions. By recognizing that nobody is perfect and that mistakes are opportunities for growth, individuals can reduce self-criticism and improve their mental health. The authors highlight the importance of finding ways to express oneself creatively as a way to promote well-being. By engaging in creative activities such as writing, painting, or music, individuals can reduce stress and improve their mood. The book emphasizes the importance of developing a sense of humor as a way to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. By finding the humor in difficult situations, individuals can reduce negative emotions and improve their resilience. Overall, The Mindful Way Through Depression offers a range of practical and effective strategies for overcoming depper, eschen and building resilience. The book emphasizes the importance of self-awareness, self-care, social support, and regular practice for optimal results. By breaking free from negative thought patterns and cultivating a more positive and balanced mindset, individuals can experience more positive emotions and well-being.